So moving on to the, the final part, part of the conversation, um, mobile device security. I mean, it, almost everyone has a mobile phone. Um, you know, there, there's all of these different tactics that people are employing to try and to take that information from you. Um, and, and one of the bits of uh, stats that, that, that I came across was that 80% of attacks against mobile devices take place via apps, requiring us to be more careful of the apps that we download and to be more suspicious of who we give our money to. And that, that kind of caught me off guard because I always had assumed that you have the App Store, Apple App Store or whatever, you know, Google Play, that they're, they're supposed to vet these applications and make sure that if I download something, it's safe and secure. So, you know, with that in mind, what are some of the common techniques uh, that bad guys are using to hack into mobile devices? One of the most common would be creating fake Wi-Fi access points for people to use in public areas. And um, when you access that, that Wi-Fi access point, then they're collecting your personal information. There's also the physical threats that someone might, you know, steal your phone directly while you're out in public. And um, like I mentioned earlier, there's also the the voice phishing type um, type ordeal. So which, you know, a bad actor is impersonating impersonating a trusted person or organization over the phone and trying to collect your valuable information. Obviously, our that's important to us because our, our lives are on our phones in a lot of cases. And, and so if we're looking to deter and mitigate these attacks, I mean, obviously if it's a physical attack, you know, keep it on, on uh, in close reach to you at all times. But in terms of some of these more sophisticated attacks, you know, what are some practical tips that people could take to, to prevent their, their phone from being compromised or the data on their phone from being compromised? That's a great question. So I would say updating your phone regularly to the latest operating system. So the latest iOS or Android operating system. Just earlier today, I reminded my wife after our conversation to update her phone to the latest and, and we realized that it wasn't at the latest operating system. So uh, I'd also recommend not opening or downloading any links from suspicious text, emails or websites. Uh, use public Wi-Fi cautiously. I would also set up parental controls on your on your device so that only you can access it or it can only be accessed during certain periods of time. And as well as backing up your data, whether that be to iCloud or the, the Android option. So when we're backing up our data, we're preventing things like data loss or ransomware, right? Right. And then you've mentioned being on a public network. For Wi-Fi in particular, wouldn't a VPN, is that is that a, a good solution to use a public? Like if I'm at a library or a fast food restaurant, can I turn on my v VPN and I'll be good? Yeah, absolutely. 